Okay, here's the overview of the uh, balancing valve system. Uh, of course, you can drive it with uh, a number of different hydraulic power sources. Here we have a hand pump. We also have uh, pneumatic hydraulic pumps and electric pumps. And that feeds over into our patent pending balancing valve. And uh, as we go through the operation of this die set, we will take and explain how it's uh, used in the process. And then coming out of the balancing valve, we have uh, two hoses and they go to two separate cylinders. And these can be uh, CYL201 single stud cylinders that uh, we'll show in this demonstration. And you can also use the 205A and uh, or the 200D cylinders. Uh, and uh, they will all three models of cylinders work properly with our balancing valve. And of course we have the die set down here. So uh, we'll take and get this set up on a tripod here and we'll begin uh, the demonstration on uh, the use of the balancing valve system. Okay, uh, here's our layout of all our components that we're going to do and we're going to, that we have, and we're going to walk you through the operational process of uh, using the balancing valve along with uh, a uh, SDD series die set which is set up to use uh, two single stud pulls so you'll have two pulling holes uh, in that and you can see that we have our two CYL um, 201 cylinders uh, located there along with the uh, uh, pulling stud for the uh, SDD die. So we're going to begin by assembling them and we can probably just grab one cylinder and stick it in one of the pull holes of the die set and we'll have our pre-drilled holes in our panel and we'll insert it through there and then we'll take our second 201 cylinder and insert it in the other pull hole of the die set and then we're going to take and put our punch end over those two pulling studs and we follow up with a set of flange nuts and they uh, don't have to be tightened with a wrench or whatever but they should fit up tight against the base of the die set and your assembly now is basically ready to take and operate. So now we're just going to take and initially we take a slap out of the drive and we're just going to take and pump the pump until we can feel the resistance come up and if you uh, are kind of watch your hoses you'll see that they'll take and start to squirm a little bit as they come under pressure. And we're getting a little resistance now. So that takes all of the slop out of the pre-travel on it. And at this point you want to close the needle valves on the balancing valve. And what that does is it puts it into a parallel drive mode where both cylinders are pulled evenly regardless of the load. And that's what keeps your die set from uh, cocking, especially on a higher aspect ratio die set such as this. And now we can pump away and uh, the cylinders are forced into the parallel mode. And if you've got an assistant, it's real handy for them to come over here and kind of steady the die set as it pops through. And we're just about there. You can see the valleys of the die are just about ready to pop through. And there you have it. Beautiful opening in a matter of a minute or so. 
Okay, once we're finished with the punching, we recover our die set. Uh, the following ways we open up our valve on our hand pump, and we also have to crack both of our valves on our balancing valve. And that just allows everything to return to its normal state. And you spin off the nuts on your pull studs. And then you can remove the cylinders or the punch, either either. Voila! The next method that's coming up, we're going to assemble it and we're going to show you using the cylinder on the opposite side of the die set and the reason behind that is this particular model of die set has drill guide holes in it but unfortunately if you put the cylinder on the base side of that uh, you can't access these drill guide holes so uh, you can take and operate uh, with this uh, cylinder on the center side of the die set uh, uh, which is generally not standard on our other die sets. We generally always recommend that you pull uh, with the cylinder on the base side, but with the balancing valve, uh, the pull is so even on it that you can actually operate them in either uh, configuration with the cylinder on one side or the other side of that. And it makes a really nice setup for, um, you know, using the uh, drill and basically you bolt it together the same way with the flange nut on the stud when you're done everything's virtually the same you run them up by hand and the only thing that you will note okay so what we recommend is you go ahead and just like everything we leave our valves open and we're going to take and, and uh, pump up so we have an initial pressure on the cylinders and that's going to lock your uh, die set into its cutting position basically if you're all set to go at that point. Once again you can tell with resistance on the pump or if your hose start to get tight you'll know that uh, you're starting to get uh, in position. So you get a little resistance there, you know your base is going to be locked in. So at this point you can just grab your battery drill and go at it and stick it in a hole. It's a lot nicer than trying to lay these out and drill them otherwise. And at that point, we remember we're loaded up, we can close our valves on our uh, balancing valve that puts us in the uh, parallel drive mode, and we punch away. And you'll note one other thing that in this method that you are captive so you really don't have to worry about the dice that falling out of the panel because there's virtually no place it can go. We'll have to disassemble the die set uh, to get it released from the panel so that's one disadvantage of this and in a lot of models you actually will have the room that you can drill a hole uh, from the uh, side that you are driving from. And there we are we're through and now, same old thing, we're just going to disassemble the die set. We back all our valves off to allow the flow back in the uh, cylinders. And you spin off your nuts, and your base should come right off. And same deal with punch, and you can just remove the punch now and your whole thing's disassembled. And if you want to turn that panel just sideways a little frank, 
they can see that you've got your perfect alignment with your uh, mounting holes for your device and a perfectly square opening. And it also knows how well it was able to punch that close to another opening. You know, there's a little deformity there. We always recommend that you do keep at least a half inch or so around your opening, but uh, you know, there it is, perfect opening and, and done that fast. So I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll take in, uh, uh, we're going to have some live feeds on uh, YouTube here as time goes by uh, with more demonstrations of our equipment and uh, how it can be a real time saver for you and your panel fabrication needs. Uh, hope to see you next time.